एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे आई एम प्लान टू टेक अ वीडियो फुल्ली इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज देर आर सम व्यूअर्स हु नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इन मलयालम एन एम टेलिंग अबाउट द रेसिपी सो आई थॉट आई मेक वन वीडियो कंप्लीटली इन इंग्लिश सो दिस इज माई बैल्कनी एंड सी देर आर ब्यूटिफुल बर्ड्स ऑन दिस प्लान इन मलयालम बी से निशा गंदी दिस इधर टू बर्ड्स and in english we say queen of the night i want to show one more here see and yearly once only this uh, flower blooms it is called nishagandhi in uh, malayalam and then brahma kamla in uh, kannada and in english it's called the queen of the night and such a beautiful flower it is i'm so blessed to have this plant is with me for almost uh, 10 years now every year For after two years of uh, after I bought it after two years it has been blooming every year. Some years there are even four to five flowers. So this will take uh, another I think another one week for the uh, the bud to become big and for the flower to bloom. And it blooms only in the night. Who all have this in their house? Okay, few of you might have seen. Now uh, let me just post some. It's only on Sunday that I get to take care of my plants. pour some water okay and today i'll just tell you what i am going to show in my today is sunday and i wanted to take a video in the morning about breakfast then uh, quickly do a lunch everything i had kept ready but i couldn't do the video i couldn't do the cooking video because my camera person my husband he had an exam he was writing an online exam at home both my children are having exam one child is younger one is having exam today uh, around 4 o'clock the elder one is having an exam tomorrow so no one was there to help me so i did the cooking and i thought i will take the video when i'm having the food so uh, there are some uh, dishes that i've made today uh, it's all kerala special so for all the non malayalis i would like to share with you the uh, dishes which malayalis always love to eat for their lunch So come on, let's see what all I have cooked today. So friends, I have kept the lunch ready. I have uh, I'll tell you how many veg, three veg dishes are there. Uh, this is carrot, carrot. This is pumpkin. This is lady's finger. This is fish. This is fish curry and fish fry. Uh, in Malayalam we say chura, uh, chura mean. That is in English we say tuna. You all be uh, heard of it. Tuna, you get tinned tuna. Tuna is very famous fish. and almost all uh, all of us know about that fish it's a very yummy fish and i have some curd then uh, once again i'm just reminding you uh, friends who are watching please do subscribe like and share my video i'm telling in the beginning because in the end few people are not seeing the end so they're not subscribing so requesting my friends to kindly subscribe so okay now um, i'll just tell you how i made these dishes first i'll start with the pumpkin this uh this is a normal pumpkin uh, of slice of pumpkin that i had bought what i did is i uh, removed the peel and cut it into square pieces and uh, i cooked it with uh, onion green chili and salt and hal uh, haldi and jeera i nicely boiled it and after boiling when uh, almost it was done i cut ripe mango ripe mango and i took i uh, removed the peel and i cooked it along with it around 10 minutes it took me for cooking this dish once again i'll tell you pumpkin green chili um onion salt pepper and jeera i boiled the uh, pumpkin and when it was 3/4 done i put ripe mango a half of a big a ripe mango and then that is what it's ready it was so tasty and i made it 2 to 3 days back so today i made it once again for lunch because today all at home so i wanted to give for all so this is one dish the pumpkin and mango ripe mango dish and this is carrot so uh, in malayalam we say mirkuriti that is uh, carrot you cut it into small pieces and then onion green chili and uh, curry leaves that is hari uh, curry patta you put and um, you have to put oil coconut oil mustard and the only masala we put is salt and haldi powder nothing else yellow powder so this is carrot fried 
then this is one other special this is ladies finger fry usually i don't do like this i usually put uh, less oil and three fourth only i'll fry uh, the ladies finger today i tried something different just i put uh, salt chili powder and haldi that is the turmeric powder and nicely mix and a little coconut oil i deep fried it with very little oil it was not uh, fully soaked in oil less oil now but i am going to do something else with it and i'll show you then salad every day i have salad cucumber carrot capsicum something or the other every day i'll include in my lunch now is our tuna fish curry and uh, tuna fish fry see in this fish curry you can see i have cut raw mangoes and i've put so along with the tomato in the fish curry i have also put raw mangoes and it is very very tasty you can try mm -hmm. it it is very tasty dish along with the fish we can add raw mangoes and then uh, fish fry i did with coconut oil uh, only chili powder haldi salt pepper lot of lots of pepper uh and uh, i put uh, uh, the curry patta also that is the curry vepala we say in malayalam okay now uh, before we start the lunch i'm just going to make this is a easy way of making a curd dish see i have fried the lady's finger i'm putting the lady's finger half of it i'm not taking the full half of the lady's finger i'm putting in the bowl and then i am going to add some thick curd to it the salt is already there in the lady's finger so i am not adding extra salt i am going to mix this nicely and it becomes such a tasty dish along with your rice it is going to taste really nice so this is lady's finger and curd okay. now everything is ready for the lunch we will start now um to reduce the quantity of rice what i do is i serve the rice in a bowl so then and after i serve the rice i make sure that i take away the actual bowl of rice from front of me so i will not take a second helping so i have a control over how much rice i am going to eat so let me take the rice and keep it away that's all i will have for lunch now let us serve all the dishes first is the pumpkin and the mango curry you should try this it is very tasty pumpkin and ripe mango next carrot carrot fry very less oil only salt and haldi and green chili no we don't use a chili powder for this kind of vegetables only green chili then curd and lady's finger you should try this just fry the lady's finger and add curd to it few slices of cucumber fish fry tuna fish fry here everyone likes so i will take less only in spite of buying 1 kilo when i fried and when i made curry this the quantity looks less so i'll just take this little of onions and now a tuna mango fish curry see i put the mango pieces so big when uh, when my sister sindhu and all comes to my house when they came, used to come to my chennai house also i have made this dish for them once and they all enjoyed it so much that they went back home and they tried let me take one more mango piece so our today's lunch lunch is ready i'm going to eat my food let me see how is it taste i'm only cooking i'm only eating no one else is ready to come in front of the video so let me try fish curry has come out really nice the raw mango has given a nice taste to the fish curry now let me try one by one the pumpkin it is actually a sweet dish and the curd and lady's finger 
it tastes really nice now fish fry one mouth of fish fry it's nice so uh, dear friends who are watching this video do try these dishes this is all kerala special for all the non malayalis you would be wanting to know what malayalis like to eat we like to have wherever we are any part of the world we malus like to have rice and fish curry and some vegetable we always have include some vegetable also then curd will also be there we usually make uh, more kolumbu that is more curry that is with uh, buttermilk we make a gravy that will be in almost all the malayalis house so this is what we usually uh, malayalis like to have for lunch so let me finish my food and then i'll show you a very yummy dessert which i am going to have for today so i finished my lunch uh and i thought i'll make the dessert in front of you i have kept uh, ripe mangoes and some blueberries for making a fruit salad uh this fruit all of you will be aware of it it was not a common fruit in india so many years back but now for the past 4 5 years we are all aware of this fruit and it's called as dragon fruit it's very famous in uh, bangkok in uh, thailand um uh, the asian countries is very famous and it grows on a cactus plant actually i also have the cactus plant in my house i brought it from my sister's house in their house they have lots of uh, this uh, dragon fruit plants i have around 4 to 5 plants but does not uh, bloomed because this fruit uh, the plant of this fruit needs lot of sunlight it has to be kept uh, on the terrace of the house or in place where the um, temperature is really high only then the plant will survive because it is a cactus plant it's like a desert plant that is why uh, it is difficult to grow in bangalore because the climate is very cold here but still for the past 4 5 uh, years i'm having that plant but the flower has not come fruit has also not come okay so now uh, this fruit usually in uh, india we do get uh, dried fruit nowadays but it is white in color so the shopkeeper told me this is purple in color so let me cut and see what he told us the truth or not the purple one is very tasty whereas the white one is not much tasty yes it is a purple one uh do you know how to cut it i'm also just trying both the sides and then we'll peel off the skin see how beautiful it is same beetroot color see how beautiful it is i'll cut it now tasty the white variety is not so sweet this purple variety is really very very sweet so let's just make the fruit salad i'll add few pieces of this then two pieces of the mango and some blueberries so our dessert is ready see mango blueberry and a dragon fruit okay so now i am going to eat it but before that let me just thank you all for watching this video and for supporting me uh please do subscribe like and share my videos i hope you all like this uh, a quick uh video that i made today so see you all in the next video take care bye